This is what I wrote in my diary in December. What if we make it our goal to reframe Seattle's understanding of Christianity so that we move away from its reputation as wed to politics and vocal of polarized infighting and sexism? What if instead we let our light shine so that through intentional living and teaching and community service, we openly and publicly declare that Christ is inviting us to ways that are not of this world? That the paradigms of consumerism and nationalism and political posturing and competition are leaving us hollow and hungry for peace and meaning and joy. And that individualism is leaving us isolated and afraid and anxious. And the good news of the gospel is God's kingdom offers a different way, a better way, the way of the lion lying down with the lamb, the way not of consumerism but creativity, not of lust but love, not of fear but courage, not of hate but kindness, not of greed but generosity, not of competition but cooperation, not of being served but serving, not of individualism but community, not of addiction but freedom, not of slavery to the paradigms of this world, but freedom from everything that enslaves and destroys, everything that incites fear and greed. What if we help people see how Jesus changes everything? What if we do that? that? I mean, that's it. That's what wakes me up in the morning. If that's our vision, I'm here forever. But let me tell you, if we just want to gather and sing and make sure that we all tithe enough so that the machinery of ministry keeps running, not interested. We need to reframe Christianity's reputation. 